Okay. That's your battery voltage running the circuit. The red LED is charging. There's two transistors. One is the red LED switch and one is the blue LED switch. The bottom transistor is switching the, uh, the relay. The relay gets its 12 volts from one of these batteries. The negative is being switched to trigger this with the bottom transistor and the blue LED. The positive from the 12 volt is jumped. The other transistor is the red LED, which controls the uh, negative to feed this capacitor bank and fill it up with uh, the battery voltage. The capacitor bank runs the coil. It's a 350 ohm, 5,000 foot, five and a half pounds of 28 gauge. This is a Newman type setup. High impedance coil, large magnetic mass. Um, so, question. What happened to the right hand rule? Okay, what do I mean by that? Um, okay, this is the pole detector. The red is north, so it will point at the south. Okay, well, let's stop the wheel for a second. That's your uh, north, and the other side is your south. I want to mention that the north and south land over the arms of the coil here, okay? And this is the off cycle. When it, when it lands here, it lands here during the off cycle when the coil is disconnected from the circuit and it's not being induced with any voltage. So, but, when that period of time occurs in the cycle and there's no induction to the coil, the magnet arms, the two sides of the magnet, north and south, are touching or facing the arms of the coil, therefore charging up the coil with magnetic field from the magnet. And the coil has, you know, flyback diodes on them. The same coil has flyback diodes. Uh, funneling back to the battery, so the flyback is hitting the battery, okay? It, does, it doesn't really hit the capacitor bank until the red LED closes, and then some of the flyback, whatever flyback hit, doesn't hit the battery, will land in the capacitor bank. And there is a high voltage capacitor here, 450 volts, high frequency to help with that. It's in parallel with the uh, 20, Four volt super cap array. So what I want to say here is what happened to the right hand rule, okay? I am flipping the poles on this coil. Let me stop the timer. Okay. So the north is 
see the right now it's generating a south okay right now it's generating a south because the north field of this magnet pole detector is facing down and it's attracted to a south pole. So this coil is generating a south because the relay is flipped to one side. When I turn the power on, the relay will flip to the other side and reverse the polarity of, the, of this coil. And this red, uh, the north facing the south will flip around and the south, the blue, will face down. In other words, the blue the south will face the north. And what I, that's what I mean. What happened to the right hand rule? The right hand rule says when the coil is wound this way, the north will always be facing the, the direction of the thumb. That's the right hand rule. Okay, I guess the rule is correct as long as they assume that you're never going to flip the polarity of the coil. Because if you do, the coil winding doesn't go this way, it stays this way, but the pole flips the other way. So that's what I mean, what happened to the right hand rule. Does that assume that you're always gonna keep the same polarity on the two ends of the coil and you're never gonna flip them around? In the previous video, I, I just demonstrated the pole flip. So, in my opinion, that kind of like uh, negates the right-hand rule. Because in the right-hand rule, they never mention anything about you keeping the plus on one end of the coil and the minus on the other. They never mentioned, it. what if you flip the polarity? What if you flip the plus over the other side and the minus? They never said nothing about that in the rule. And they never said nothing about which side is the plus on or the minus is on. So the rule is, is, is not complete. <laughs> In my opinion, either they have to add to the rule that you keep your one end of the coil with a plus and the other end of the minus to make that rule valid. Because if you flip the polarity on this coil, the magnetic field flips. And according to the rule, the north is always supposed to be facing the direction of the thumb. So I guess, uh, yeah, that's my question. What happened to the right-hand rule? Okay, guys, over and out.